when I came in Chongqing, I didn't have a scholarship, so it was a little hard for me. I was also a little disturbed by the climate. Jet lag was also a problem, but I quickly got used to it. Regarding my way of life in China in general, I still had some difficulties during the spring of 2017. Uh, some health problems because every time we change season, especially the transition from winter to spring. This year I got used to it because everything went normally. Other than that, I have no problem communicating with the Chinese people. The language is no longer a barrier and my level is constantly increasing. Now it is getting better and better. I also had time to visit Chongqing and some nearby cities. I also participated in many activities related to China culture in my school and elsewhere. Finally, I can say that China is a beautiful country with a very old and rich culture. Of course, not everything is perfect, but it is an experience worth making. À toi celui qui a su restaurer mon âme. En moi tu crées une soif, en moi tu crées une flamme. Alors en moi s'explose une force et je décide de marquer ma jeunesse. Nous sentons et nous crions. Hello. My name is Emmanuel and my Chinese name is Emanueli. I'm from Benin and I'm 23 years old. I studied economics and graduated on January 2017. I'm also very interested in language, especially Chinese language. I started to learn Chinese language in the Confucius Institute when I was doing my second year of economics in 2015. I began to use all my free time to learn Chinese language and was also interested in all the activities. For me, learning Chinese and participate activities are the most enjoyable. I can play kakabit flute. In Chinese language we say hulu si. I also like to watch Chinese movies because this is a way who can help me to improve my listening level. After a couple of months, my Chinese level was quite good, so I start working with Chinese people as a translator. So in December 2016, I passed the Chinese proficiency test. In Chinese, we say Han Yu Shuping Kao Shi Si Ji He Han Yu Shuping Kao Shi. HSK4 and the oral test HSKK intermediate and have succeeded. That helped me to apply for the Confucius Institute scholarship. And then in September 2017, I came in Chongqing Chao Tong University to continue to learn Chinese language. And when I started studying here, I was still in the same. Learning hard. I like to practice Chinese with my classmates. In addition, I like to chat with Chinese people, practice my oral, my Chinese speaker, practice my listening, and also I like to practice my Chinese writing. According to this trend, I passed the Chinese proficiency test level 5 within within 5 months. In Chinese, we say Han Yu Shui Pin Kao Shi Wu Ji. And then I'm now able to read, to do my master's degree in Chinese language. I would like to continue to do my master of economics in Chinese. To listen to the class is completely fine. So actually, I want to learn the domain of population, resource, and economic environmental because in my bachelor degree, I make them my study a lot of climate variabilities and then I was analyze the perceptions to climate change and adaptation of on farmers.
My name is Godfrey. I'm from Benin and I am 26 years old. I studied Chinese language for a year now. Half a year in Benin and half a year in China. When I started to learn Chinese, it was a little difficult. But with more practice, I make my dream come true. In December 2016, I passed and have succeeded to the test of Chinese called HSK Han Yu Shui Ping Kao Shi 4 and the oral text HSKK Intermediate. That helped me to apply for the one year Confucius scholarship. I came to China in September 2017 to study Chinese language. My scholarship will finish in July and my will is to apply for another scholarship so I can still be in China to study. Reading is the knowledge, so I start to read a lot. I used to go in the library to study and read books. I believe that everything starts in the mind and with that thought you must supply action. My dream is to speak Chinese language like a Chinese people and for that I have to apply actions like reading, watching Chinese movies, speaking Chinese language with Chinese people. All that action will help me to make my dream come to pass. Ne baisse pas les bras, refuse le statu quo.